Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the HP laptop, and let me show you the model number. In the back, it says HP X360M, or the model is 14M DH0003DX. I hope you can see the fine print. And in this video, what I'll be doing is a step by step on how to replace the CPU fan. Um, at the same time, when I take things apart, I would explain to you uh, what are the components in there, like meaning if you want to ex change out your battery or maybe upgrade your DDR, sorry, um, upgrade your RAM, the DDR4 RAM, or maybe to upgrade your M.2 drive, um, the solid state drive, and, and whatnot. So, uh, in this video, I'll explain to you uh, each of those steps on how to do that. All right, so. Um, I'm using a metal prying tool. The first thing you saw that I was doing is to remove the two plastic. These two rubber stopper at the bottom is to uh, prevent the laptop to slide away from the table. Um, but underneath that rubber stopper, you see the two little screw. You need to remove that in order to get the, uh, the back cover uh, removed. Once you remove the uh, rubber stopper and there are two screws hidden underneath, go ahead and remove them with the Phillips screwdriver. Uh, the one I'm using here is actually electronic screwdriver. Uh, so, or you can use a regular Phillips screwdriver. The two screws at the bottom here are a little bit tinier, so I need to use a different screwdriver for that. The electronic one is too big. Alright, once you remove four screws, let's go ahead and pry open the back cover. So the rest of it is the uh, kind of a, a clipper that clips on the back cover. What you want to do is slowly use your finger to separate the cover and you can hear this little uh, crackling noise and that is to separate that, that clipper that, that holds on the back plate. Now once you remove the back cover, you can obviously see that the entire computer, um, the internal part of it, this here is the battery. And if your battery is not holding the charge or your battery has like a lump or swollen, that means you need to change out the battery. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the two screws. They're right next to the connector. And there are a few more screws around the battery. So let's go ahead and remove them all. Alright, once you remove the screws and you can actually disconnect the battery by lifting it up. Now my battery looks still okay. I can see that it's starting to build uh, the lump, which is quite hard. So when the battery is not holding the charge, or if, if you fully charge up the battery and it decreases very quickly, that means the battery needs to be changed as well. And if you want to change the battery, you want to look it up for this model, it's HT03XL. I would have the battery in the list in the description below, where you can click on it, it will direct you to eBay or Amazon uh, for the replacement part. Now once the battery is removed, or uh, the next thing i like to explain to you, this is where your uh, solid state drive is. This solid state drive is the one that holds on to all your information, like your data. Go ahead and remove it. It's a, just a regular Phillips screw. And then slide it to your right. And that's how you remove the uh, uh, solid state drive. This solid state drive is 128 gigabytes. Okay, it says here 128 gigabytes. Now if you want to upgrade to a larger solid state drive, maybe like 256 or 512, uh, you can do that by buying 
another uh, M.2 drive and then clone it over. I make a separate video on how to clone the M.2 drive. If you're interested, you can go ahead and watch that and learn how to clone it over so you can keep all your information the same. Now this is the uh, uh, the CPU fan which I was talking about that I need to change it out. So if your fan is not spinning well or if your fan is slowing down, you might want to come and dust it. If you feel like the uh, uh, the fan is not working correctly, then you need to change out the, uh, the, the fan. Okay. So let me go ahead and disconnect the uh, fan cable. Disconnect it right here. You can just slide it away from you. I'm using this leverage to push it out away from my body. That is the connector. Best is to flip the clipper open and then remove this uh, cable just so that you can easily get to the fan. Let's go ahead and disconnect the uh, heatsink as well. So this is the little um, sticker and this sticker here probably conduct the uh, electro or static and you want to keep the sticker do not cut it off right so what I'm doing right now is to uh, slightly peel the thing off I was having some hard time to do that because I do not have my fingernails this time cut it too short and just had it cut last night so having some difficulties here okay so we somewhat got it out right so if your thermal paste is all dried up and your CPU thermal paste is all dried up this is a good time uh, to clean it off using the um, alcohol pads and I'll show it to you how to clean it off so you get one of these alcohol wipes and go ahead and start wiping down the CPU The same time when you wipe it, I'm picking up that dry crust on the, that dry thermal paste. Alright, so you wipe it clean, let the A dry the alcohol, and you still have the alcohol wipes, go ahead and come and clean on this heat sink here. Okay, there you have it. And make sure you apply a new thermal paste when you put the heat sink back together. Alright, so now the fan here is ready to come off because we already unscrewed the two screws and this is the fan replacement part. If you want to look for it, it's L51102-001. Get a fan replacement, redo the same process, reinstall it, put the thermal paste on it and then uh, put the screws back on with the heatsink and you should be all set. Um, so this is my goal is to change out the uh, CPU fan here. Um, I do not have the fan with me. I need to order it. Um, that is the reason why I take things apart to match the right number and can physically look at the fan and do like a match when I buy from eBay or Amazon. So you can do the same thing uh, if you really want to make sure that you, you order the right fan. And if you want to know, curious to know where is the uh, 
the RAM. The RAM is hidden underneath this cover. And this cover here is just uh, very easy to remove. You All you have to do is just put some pressure and then lift it up. Okay, so uh, there are two slots for the RAM. Only one RAM is installed. If you want to add additional RAM, you can just put another RAM here on this slot. It runs on a DDR4. Alright, so there you have it. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment below. If you feel like this video is helpful, please give me a like. I really appreciate you for doing that. And until next time, please take care and I'll see you soon.